Laminated waterproofing has become more and more common over the past few years because as riders were looking for something with a bit of a higher level of rain protection. Laminated textile jackets still have both a protective layer and a waterproof layer, but instead of the two sitting separately, they're both laminated together. This means the jacket repels water better than a traditional jacket, and it means a laminated jacket should stay lighter and warmer than one that saturates. The venting is generally better as well because opening a vent on a laminated jacket usually separates the membrane, giving you a more direct route for air to flow through. Here we're going to run through five great laminated textile jackets which have been very popular with sports bike shop customers. If you want to know more about any of the jackets you'll find links popping up on the screen throughout to take you to our full review of those jackets or you can find those links in the description below. The Rucker Navala 2 is unquestionably a top dollar jacket. As we record this, the list price for this jacket is £1,400 in regular sizes and £1,540 if you've got a 50 inch chest or more. But owners love the Navala 2. Of the first 23 riders to leave a review, 21 of them gave the maximum five star rating. The Cordura stretch shell makes it more flexible than most three layer Gore-Tex laminated jackets, so you get a good blend of comfort and rain protection. One of the big plus points of the Navala 2 is the armour. It's D3O armour, it meets the higher CE level 2 for impact protection and the protectors cover a much bigger area than you normally get. Here's a normal D3O shoulder insert and here's one from the Navala 2. You also get extra protectors as well. The usual shoulder and elbow armour are there but there's also back and chest protection as standard. And inside there's also a thick down liner jacket that will keep you warm in winter. That liner isn't attached into the jacket so it's easy to to wear that on its own when you're not on the bike. If there is a criticism of this jacket, some people find the tall neoprene neck quite restrictive. And the Navala 2 also gets a basic single A pass in CE safety tests for abrasions, tears and seam strength and some people expect more from a premium price jacket like this. It seems you can't have both the full stretch outer with this jacket and also a higher grade CE pass so it's up to you to decide which of those is more important to you. Now, thankfully, you don't have to spend the really big money to get yourself a laminated textile jacket. At £350, this Risha Infinity 2 Pro is a quarter of the price of the last jacket, but it's still very popular with its owners. As things stand, 41 of the 61 customer reviewers have rated this Infinity 2 Pro at five stars, and that's a very good hit rate. The outer is reinforced at the key impact zones, and there are plenty of vents and fit adjusters to tailor it to yourself. The waterproof membrane is Risha's own AquaShell material. You might not have heard of it, but owners are very impressed with the way it resists water. Armour is from D3O and it meets the basic level one of the CE standard for impact protection. And you'll find it at the shoulders, the elbows, and also at the back. The back protector is a central back protector. It's a narrow one, so you'll need to add a larger insert if you want more complete coverage. Now, two things to note from the customer reviews for this jacket. Firstly, so many riders suggest ordering one size bigger than normal that it can't possibly be a coincidence. And secondly, they say it's difficult or impossible to fit winter gloves under the sleeve of the jacket. The Infinity 2 Pro comes in four colour options as we record this, and it has a CE safety standard rating of single A, which is the basic level. Now this is the Revit Vertical Gore-Tex and I was quite taken with this jacket when I reviewed it because I think it gives you a lot for the money. A Gore-Tex membrane means you get the Gore guarantee of waterproofing and I think that's always reassuring to have. The armour is approved to the higher level 2 within the CE standard for impact protection and it meets the overall CE standard this jacket at the AA level. You get a removable thermal liner too and that's something that other brands have ditched in order to bring down costs. The venting is substantial with large direct body panels at the chest and also exhaust vents at the shoulders. Now it's a shame you need to find another 42 quid if you want a back protector but this isn't the only jacket here where you need to spend extra if you want one of those. I found the Revit Vertical to be a flexible, comfortable, smart jacket when I reviewed it and it seems owners feel the same about theirs. Of the first nine reviews for the Revit Vertical, seven of those owners gave a maximum five star rating. At 550 quid, it's clearly not cheap, but I think this is quite possibly the best value laminated Gore-Tex jacket around.
If you want a rucker jacket, but you don't want the big price tag of the Navala 2 that we covered earlier, then here's their entry level laminated jacket. It's the Calyx 2, and it's still not cheap at £679.99, but it's very popular with the people who've spent that money on one. The Calyx 2 has collected 35 five star ratings from 37 reviews as we record this. It uses a simpler two layer Gore Tex membrane laminated to the outer shell, which makes it more flexible than the three layer Gore Tex in the Navala 2 that we covered earlier from Rucker. Now, that's not the only area where this jacket is simpler than that Navala 2. The cuffs are straightforward Velcro wraps, the impact protectors meet the basic level 1 rather than level 2 of the CE standard, and they also only get protection at the shoulders and the elbows. There's no warmth liner, but most owners are happy to take the cost saving and wear something cheaper underneath, like a fleece they've already got in their wardrobe. Now, I'd love to tell you the CE safety rating for this jacket, but it comes from an era before Rucker embraced the latest CE standard. The Calyx 2 was approved via a route that doesn't give a rating. Where the first four jackets make our selection based on customer feedback, this Oxford Stormland is my personal wildcard pick. There aren't many customer reviews for this jacket as I record this, but I wore one of these for a good chunk of 2023, and I think it's worth a place on the list. At £400, it sits a little bit above the Risha jacket, but it costs considerably less than either of the Rucker jackets. And what you get for the outlay makes this Stormland a serious option, in my opinion. The outer layer is a nylon that's tough enough to earn a double A rating in CE safety testing. The trilaminate membrane that's bonded to the back of it shrugs off water, and there are loads of extra features that make this a very versatile jacket. The armour is CE level 2, the higher level, though you will need a back protector insert if you want one of those, and that will add another 20 or 30 pounds to the price. A thermal liner is standard and it's also got stretch sections within that for added comfort. I found all the features on this jacket to be genuinely useful and in my opinion the Stormland is well worth having on your shortlist. Right, so those are our key contenders for the best laminated textile jackets. As for which is best, as always it depends on what you want a jacket for and what your own personal priorities are. For flexibility of fit, for impact protection and resistance to all types of weather, then the Rucker Navala 2 tops the bill. If you can see past the single ACE rating, then I'd say it's the best jacket here, as you might expect when you're spending £1,400. Now you might say the cheapest jacket offers the best value, but I don't think low price and high value are necessarily the same thing. For me, there are two jackets here that offer a little bit of everything, the Oxford Stormland and the Revit Vertical. Both of those are versatile for use in a wide range of weather conditions and the build quality on both is good. They're also the only two jackets here that meet the double A level of the CE standard. Now, my favorite of the two, if you're interested, is the Revit Vertical. But if you don't want to spend the 550 pounds it takes to get one of those, then the Oxford Stormland is 400 pounds and I found that to be excellent as well when I reviewed that. Now, I hope that helps you narrow down your options from the laminated textile jackets that are on the market. Remember, we have full review videos covering all five of the jackets here, and you'll find links to those videos in the description below. There's also a link that will show you the full range of laminated jackets we have available on Sports Bike Shop, so you can browse to your heart's content. Okay, that's us done. But as ever, if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.